Hello and welcome to today's topic, Paracetamol. Paracetamol is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, or NSAID, belonging to the non-selective Fox inhibitor, cyclooxygenase inhibitor, a paraaminophenol derivative, also known as acetaminophen. Paracetamol is the most commonly used NSAID drug. Phenacetin, the first drug used in this group, is banned due to several adverse effects. Paracetamol, a metabolite of the phenacetin, is found to be safer and effective than the previous. Actions of Paracetamol Paracetamol has good analgesic and antipyretic action. That is, it reduces raised temperatures. It has little anti-inflammatory action. Mechanism of action Inhibition of COX-1, COX-2 and COX-3 occurring in the CNS. Due to the weak prostaglandin inhibitory activity in the periphery, it has poor anti-inflammatory action. Paracetamol is active on cyclooxygenase in the brain which accounts for its antipyretic action. The pharmacokinetics ADME generally given orally 30% is protein bound. It is metabolized by the hepatic microsomal enzymes by the glucuronide conjugation and the glutathione conjugation. Half-life of 2 to 4 hours and inactivated in the liver. Clinical use relieves mild to moderate pain, especially headache. Used as an analgesic in painful conditions like toothache, headache and myalgia. Used as an antipyretic. Used in chronic pulpitis, periodontal abscess, post extraction in combination with brufen. Adverse effects of paracetamol. Few and uncommon with therapeutic doses. In antipyretic doses, paracetamol is safe and well tolerated. Nausea and rashes may occur. But when large doses are taken, acute paracetamol poisoning results. Toxic doses cause nausea and vomiting and then 24 hours later, potential fatal liver toxicity or hepatotoxicity occur. Paracetamol toxicity. Children are more susceptible because their ability to conjugate by glucuronidation is poor. 10 to 15 grams in adults may cause serious toxicity. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, anorexia, and abdominal pain in the first 24 hours. Nephrotoxicity may result in acute renal failure patients. Paracetamol is hepatotoxic. Manifestations are seen in 2 to 4 days, which include increased serum transaminases, jaundice, liver tenderness, and prolonged prothrombin time, which may even progress to liver failure in some patients. Hepatic lesions are reversible when promptly treated. Treatment. Stomach wash or gastric clavage is given. Activated charcoal prevents further absorption. Antidote. n acetylcysteine is given. n acetylcysteine partly replenishes the glutathione stores of the liver and prevents binding of the toxic metabolites to the cellular constituents. Paracetamol inhibits the cyclooxygenase, COX-1, COX-2 and COX-3, thus thereby preventing the release of the mediators of inflammation, acting as an anti-inflammatory drug. To conclude, good health is not something we can buy. However, it can be an extremely valuable savings account. Thank you.